can you share with us what's your next plans? Yeah, so now my next plans actually I would say is more involved on the business side of things because you know, I have a lot of interest in doing a lot of good in the world. So, you know, just with money that you make from poker, that's why I've always seen it as like a stepping stone kind of. Now I've hit the plateau of where I wanted to go in poker and now I want to try to, I want to compete in the next level to, to hit the next level. That's cool. uh, we know that you won a huge London tournament and you won uh, more than 20 million dollars. Uh, what was the most bizarre thing that you bought? Uh, let's see. I don't know. I don't think I actually I bought anything really Tesla. too outrageous. No, I bought my mom a brand new Tesla. I bought my dad a car. I bought my brother's cars. Cool. Like, uh, you know, just things that are, like things that you could buy really, as I learned older in life, it's not really so valuable for me. Like I considered actually buying a more expensive watch. I already have a nice one. Mm -hmm. And then I thought about it and said, why would I buy a million dollar watch? Like I'd rather give it away to like people who need it. Like that's being selfish and that's like something that I don't really ever care to be. So it's about putting things uh, more in perspective. So I appreciate the money more that I earned there so that I can actually, like my dad could retire from that. Like that was the most important thing uh, by far. So now like uh, seeing him just so much happier and just doing whatever he wants. So. There's nothing really better than that in life. So that was the best thing that uh, happened from it for sure. Can I give advice for people who just uh, start to play poker? Well, you know, poker is a complicated game. If you really want to be good at poker, you have to put everything into it. Like when I was from 17 to 30, I played all day, every day, maybe 12, 14 hours a day. Just only thought about poker. It was kind of on autopilot from everything else in life. So you know, if you want anything, like you're just gonna have to prove how much you want it. Like if you really want to be a great poker player, a lot of people in the world want to be great poker players. So you're just gonna have to put in more time, more effort, and want it more than they do. That's always how I saw it. That's great. Thank you so much, Brian.